Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday live stream. This, I have to tell you, just like the thumbnail and title suggests, is probably the craziest story that I've ever heard. And I'm going to go in reverse for a second before I bring on the special guest, but it really comes down to this. This is the last piece we're going to talk about. There is this fund called OPNX, and it'll probably go meme. And this is from a Telegram group. And essentially, we're talking about the craziness that is the crypto market. And it all gets tied into Three Arrows Capital, the people that actually essentially made the actual bankruptcies happen, and now they're profiting from it. And it just goes down this rabbit hole. So to help me make sense of this and talk about meme coins and, of course, the Solana ecosystem as well, I've got a friend. And we haven't talked for quite some time. And thankfully, he came back on. It is Mike the Investor. Rob, up, man, man, what is up, man? Thanks for having me, dude. It's can't believe it's really been like two years, man. Like, wow. We, yeah, yeah man, we did this in 2021 where things were just about to go crazy, right? Yeah, and, yep. and it, you know, I remember it was me, you, and James from Invest Answers, and we were talking about, I think, maybe probably Solana. I'm gonna guess because it was it was James. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but but we were all talking about about the same thing about how we thought it was gonna do pretty well. We didn't know how big it was, but man, those were. Remember those days? Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember, man. And now look at Solana. And then I remember going into Solana kind of when we first met. And I was talking about it around 28 to 30 bucks back, <gasps> you know, in 2021 Ooh. before it went up to yeah. past 200. 200. And you was like, I wasn't sure. And then when things started moving, you was like, yeah, Solana was definitely the one. And so oh. it's just nice to see things things come back full circle. Yeah. Well, that's a great segue. So, so coming <laughs> full circle because Mike, cause you've been, I've been following you on X and I know you've been following the Solana ecosystem, but not only that, but the meme coin and the trajectory of, of where things are going. So I needed to bring you on so you could explain the meme coin debauchery that is going on and how people can kind of find those things. But before we get into that, just as a reminder, everybody, there's a link in the description, and you can find Mike from a plethora of different places. Uh, my two favorite, of course, are, are X, which I am on borderline addiction on that uh, that darn site. Same, same. And then also on YouTube, where you can find all, all of Mike's big plays, Solana Gems, uh, more, more Gems, and of course, the NFTs, and of course, the meme coin space. So let's jump into this story, because I was showing Mike before everybody got here, but this this is... This is insane. And I and I think it's a testament to just how crazy investors are. And I'm not going to say that it's just regimented to the crypto and digital asset investor. I think all investors are gamblers in some way, shape, or form. Here's what we oh, got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Mike, <laughs> before we go on, how when you see it out there, like, like, do you see that there's a lot of rational actors, or do you think it's just people going numbers go up? I think it's a little bit of both, but I think it's more so of people seeing numbers go up, right? Yeah. And I think we see that based off of the stories we hear, the comments we see on YouTube, on Twitter about, hey, I got dumped on or, hey, I lost all my money. And I think that comes from a testament of people just kind of buying into hype instead of having a strategy. And I think that's kind of where a lot of it comes from. And it's <clears throat> hype can move mountains. It hype can, can move it hype. Can. I can move markets. And we saw that in the meme coins. And we're going to see this right now in this ridiculous story. So Three Arrows Capital. If you're not familiar with Three Arrows Capital, uh, these are the gentlemen that were apparently, not apparently, they were, they were behind essentially the Trust Me Bro loan that was uh, given out by Voyager as they did a $640 million uncollateralized loan. They also had a lot of shitty things that were happening on behind with, with FTX, and they had their hands on a, a lot of different projects, which essentially is what I believe uh, was the first domino to fall when we had the last bear market as everything collapsed, FTX being one of them, Celsius being another, BlockFi, and of course, Voyager. So yeah. with this story, it's going to lay it all out. So OPNX, which I had totally forgotten about, Founder uh, Suzu says the shutdown comes because FTX estate claims reached recovery. And I don't, this doesn't make any sense, but here we go. OPNX is an exchange for trading of bankruptcy claims. So again, Three Arrows Capital, the people that caused the bankruptcy open up an exchange that you could trade these different assets for bankruptcy claims. Beautiful. 
set up by the founders of Three Arrows Capital is closing because the bankruptcy process of failed crypto exchange FTX has reached recovery. And in case you're wondering, uh, FTX just announced this a couple of days ago. There's a full recovery of customer assets. And that's good, but it's based on the point of FTX's actual bankruptcy time frame. So I know people are like, I'm getting all my, my Bitcoin back. I'm getting all my Ethereum back. Well, no, I mean, you are, but essentially you're getting at the price of where it was back then, which was roughly 20500 which is around the time of the FTX collapse. And if we take a look, if we see when yeah, that was. Well, half. That, yeah, that was half, man. That was half. Of course, yeah. they, of course, they can't do it now because they, there's no way that they could pay everybody back. So, right. so it's a right around in the very beginning of November. But hey, look on the bright side. At least it wasn't here at 15.7. So Agreed. I guess. I, I mean, guess. it better than nothing, right? Yeah. No, it's, it's true. I mean, look, I think everybody's here is in the right place at the right time, especially with what, where we're about to go for the, for the next halving. So, I mean, me and, me and you, Mike, we've lived through this stuff before. So it's just going to happen again. Yeah. Anyhow, to finish this up, the zero, the, the OX community, which I guess is again, the OPNX will be focusing on OX.fund now and wish to congratulate the FTX estate holders on their full recovery, Zeus said in a statement <laughs> on Telegram. OPNX, and just as a little history refresher, OPNX uh, struggled to gain a foothold. Their volume peaked at 624,000 after it had a much hyped launch. Less than $2 of trades were executed in its first 24 hours. So I guess there were some people that were that were wise to the whole situation. And just to expand on that, the Telegram group, this was actually reported on by Decrypt. People are still refusing to sell. And one of the one of the OPNX investors said, what's the chances these guys can fail again? It's almost statistically impossible. The OPNX will probably go meme. That's interesting. And before we dive all the way into this, I want to ask something you just said. How oh. you said people are still refusing to sell. Now, do you think for a lot of people it's easier to hold than it is to sell? Oh, you know, look, Mike, <laughs> on this channel, I and we and we talked about this because remember back in the day when because you've been doing this in 2019, it mm -hmm. was blasphemy if anybody said I'm selling my Bitcoin. It was like, how dare you? Right. How dare you, you weak, paper-handed piece of trash? We hate your guts. Da -da -da. I'm like, hey, geez, I just want to take some profits, you know? So I think that was kind of baked in. I think people are kind of getting uh, over that. But yeah, it's man, it's super. I I feel like it's super easy to buy the dips, to dollar cost average, to let it go in the background and not really worry too much about the uh the selling because hey, if it went up, if it did a 10x. Maybe it could do a 50x. Right, right. And if, and if it does a 50x, then maybe it can do a 100x. And it's just, it's, it's it just gets a dopamine crazy. rush. Yep, yep. And I agree. I agree with everything you say. You can see some of the chat also saying, I'm great at holding. Definitely easier to hold for sure. I agree, <laughs> man. I, <laughs> it is. Because it's like, as soon as you get ready to sell, it's like, do I really want to sell this? What if? What if? You know what I mean? You always have that what if moment. Mm hmm. Well, so let's get into it about the what ifs and, and what's going on, everything else. Mike, you put out some pretty great content, especially okay. and I'm not I'm not up to it as much as I should. But you talked about some Solana, of course, in the ecosystem, some different parts. And of course, you were big on the meme coins. I think one of the latest uh, on your X account, I actually you said, hey, what meme coin should I should I get into? And I was you said doing my, my role. Right? Yeah, I was doing a Myro giveaway. Yeah, so I, I was like, hey, look at the about Myro. That too, a little bit too, man. Like, I know oh. you really don't talk about meme coins either like that. Mm -hmm. So when you talked about Myro, I was like, man, okay. Right. But, I just, you know, go ahead. Oh, no, I will say like this to, to, to preface this, Mike. The only reason I was talking about it is because I was giving it away. Right. And here's what happened. In the last seven days, look at this chart. Yeah, I saw, dude. I saw, man. I, I mean, the community's still really strong despite the dump which is a good yeah. sign i i feel like but um i was never i'm happy for everyone that got into my i'm happy for people that made money on my i was never one that advocated for it never disliked it i think Myro did great things for solana um could it come back i'm not sure you know it's one of those things and um crypto you just never really know i think the community is strong enough for it to rebound 
but again, you know, it has to make that test. You know what I mean? After coming back, I think the all-time high was what 170 million, something like that, for the something market like cap. Yeah. yeah, I think 170 million. So now it's down to what's that 50 million or something like that, give or take, for the market so, cap. Let me see. I yeah. can pull it up here real quick. Let's see what. Uh, Let me. Uh... I'll pull yeah, it up. so about 51 million, uh, according to Dex Tools. All right. Which I mean okay. is still, uh, if we're just going off a of market cap, despite the dip, which is still a a medium high market cap, you know, meme coin, right? Oh yeah, it's but but see, so that so that's just it. Like like Mike, when you're taking a look, let me get this out of here. When you're taking a look at these different meme coins or these different projects, like what mm -hmm. do you, how are you discerning like which ones are going to be a hit and which ones just kind of kind of sucking? Is it is it mostly just like the is it like let me take a look at the the market cap. Let me take a look at the community, or just something else to it. One, I mean, I will say this: there's no way to a hundred percent no. There's no way, right? You 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 take a chance out there, and you can do the most research you want in the world, and still sometimes be wrong at the end of the day because you can't control what founders, projects, you know, can't control what they do, right? Mm -hmm. However, when it comes to looking for a project with good potential, number one, we always look for a community, right? Because we know, even with utility coins, if that yeah. utility coin or token does not have a strong community, where does it go, right? So you have to have that community. So number one is community, okay. most and foremost. Then number two, is the meme relatable? Is it catchy? Is it catching on? Is people talking about it, right? Okay. And a good way to see that is going on X. X is a great way to see who's talking about this thing, right? Then you want to, then if you're thinking about investing, okay, what is the market cap? How many holders does it have? When did it launch, right? Mm -hmm. and, and these things, everyone has different, um, a different process when it comes to it but the first thing i look at of course is community do they have potential connections is anybody in the meme coin space um higher up following them right mm -hmm. or you know what i mean those things mm -hmm. matter you know what i'm saying and so when it comes to being early you really have to have a higher risk tolerance when it oh, comes yeah. to meme coins because let me let's just be real most of them pump and go to zero so if you don't have that mindset when investing in meme coins, you will lose a lot of money, right? Meme, most meme coins aren't your utility coins to hold for long term, right? It's to get in right. and get out. So you have to be mindful. And to be honest, it took me a little bit to understand this until I fully dove all the way into meme coins, like hard last of 2023 going into this year. Yeah. And uh, because I always bought memes, like I made some good money on Sheeb last bull run and stuff like that. Ooh, but like, Sheeb. but to really understand, like these things move fast, right? And even though Doge and Sheeb are still the top two dogs by market cap, the last thirty mm -hmm. to sixty days, what meme coins have been talked about? Not Doge or Sheeb, really. It's been every you know new meme on the block, right? That's and true. So, so you have to be mindful and kind of understand, right? I do think there is some meme coins to hold going into the bull run, but a lot of these that are popping up, you know, you may want to be careful. <laughs> I think so. Okay, so let's let's do this. So I know Mike, I broke down a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot. yeah. So let's let's let, yeah let's 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 unpack some of that. So let's just say. Like, give me a, is there any meme coin that, that you're looking at right now? You're like, this one looks pretty good. Or you're kind of like, ah, I don't really have too many going on. So I will say this before I just throw out some names. Anyone that follows me know I stand behind four main meme coins. All right. Right. And the, and none of this is financial advice. Do what you will with this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Snack, which everyone, if you're a Cardano lover, you know what Snack is. Right. L I have some snack. I have some snack. Beautiful. And I caught that one early. I got in, I think, like 15 million market cap. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Make some good money. Still hold snack, though. Samo. And What's I tell Samo. What's that? I never heard of that. Are you kidding me, dude? I have not. I don't know what? these things. This is why I rely what? on you, Mike, to what? come on the show and, and, and uh, <laughs> give us the alpha. I have no idea what this is. Samo. Okay. 
Okay. Samo, man. So Samo is the first original oh, Solana meme. Holy first smokes. original wow. Solana meme. So right. it, it it's been around since 2021. Yeah. Really? Yes. So oh wow! Those, Look at that. Oh yeah. So it's one of those projects oh. that. Oh my god, dude! All I'm gonna say this: if you're watching this, not financial advice. And Rob, you can go to the receipts on my videos. You can look at the tweets and see when I was talking about this thing. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. people would have just listened and bought when I said, you could have got a million tokens for around twenty nine hundred to thirty five hundred. It's now ten grand to get that same million tokens. Dang. Right. So Jeez, that's a lot of followers. So so what I'm but they've been look how long they've been here though, man. Yeah, it's they've true. They've experienced some of the books. So this is one of those products. And so when people say Bonk was the first, it actually wasn't. Samo was the first non-derivative meme coin. Hmm. Look hmm. at the look at the total supply of it. Oh, okay. Total supply, max supply, circling supply. So pretty much almost it's almost fully diluted. And you saw only 4.7 billion. Do you see that? Forty. Other, yeah. Yeah. And the other portion of that, I believe, is burned. Okay. Okay. So I will say this: if you can afford it, get a million tokens and thank me later. Okay. The all-time high is twenty-five cents, in my opinion. And if you and you can go to the video, which is why I'm saying it, because I've already said this. I believe it hits forty okay. cents or higher. The community believes it's going to a dollar. Me what? honestly, because dollar. of the because of the bag I have, I won't hold it that long. I don't need to. However, I'm just hey. telling you. See, this is why. See, this is why Mike is your guy. Mike is your guy. If you like to do risk, if you like to say, you know what, I got 25 bucks I can throw away. That 25 bucks is gone. I'm gonna. It's gonna disappear. I'm gonna throw it in there. Maybe a hundred bucks. Whatever you're gonna do. But mm -hmm. it is gambling, everybody. But I got to tell you, these are the fun times. These are the fun times right now. I know people say, ah, you know, these, be, be, before we go on, these meme coins is ridiculous. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Hey, I just want to remind everybody of this. Like Dogecoin is the original, original meme coin, right? And some will make it, some won't. And as I, as I, and people on the show have, have I've, I've shown this many a times, mm -hmm. but I don't know about you, but some of these meme coins have been, have, uh, have stood the, the test of time. Like again, I didn't know Samuel was out there, but he, but he, there it is. Dogecoin has been the top three one crypto for a decade. It was a fork of <laughs> lucky coin, which is a fork of Litecoin, which is a fork of Bitcoin. And I just, I went by like in 2015, it was ninth, 2016, it was six, 14th, 29th, and 2019, it was 24th, 2020, it was 31. Okay. You got me on that one. 26, it was, um, no, in 2021, it was ranked number 26 and went all the way up. Then 2022, 12, 2023, January, number eight. And I don't know. It's probably like, it's still in the top 15, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, look. Yeah, it's still number 10 right now, according to coin market cap. Ooh, number 10. <laughs> so, like, if, if we, yeah, if we just look at that and go, okay. Okay. I don't know about a dollar. I can, I mean, 40 cents, Mike, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it's a stretch. It's a stretch for me, but I'm mm -hmm. just saying like maybe like 20 cents, let's say 20 cents. Let's be, let's be conservative mm -hmm. and say 20 cents for a meme coin from today. That's a 20 X. Mm -hmm. That's a 20 X. Let me do some quick math here. If you put a thousand dollars in yeah. a two X though, from the current all time high puts it around 40 something cents. I know it. I know. And I'm not saying it can do that, but I'm, I'm for, saying, for those people that say, hey, what is a prediction? That's my cap. That's a good cap. Okay. You so, see what I'm saying? That's my yeah. cap. I'm not saying it can do, but that's where I see it. The cap could be. Perfect. So, Mike, before you start to talk about the other two, let's, I'm going to ask you this because we, and it was a great question uh, about, hey, is it harder to buy or is it harder to sell? Obviously, it's harder to sell. How would you set that up for the sell for that? Because I don't think you're going to wait till it gets to 40 cents. Definitely not, dude. Heck no. Right. And How do you do it? I mean, for me, and this time around, I mm -hmm. made a mistake holding some crypto last cycle. Everything is being yep. sold this cycle for me. I'm not telling anyone else to do that, mm -hmm. but I'm keeping no prisoners. So when I hit close to my targets, I'm selling my whole pot. Whole top. So Everything. Like, so would you, like, let's say... 
okay, you think it's gonna go to 40 cents and you know, Mike, you got like- I probably won't hold it to that though. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when I say I, that's the cap, a lot of people will hold you to that. But what I try to tell people is, depending on where the market is, how mm -hmm. the market's moving, how fast it's hitting these milestones will depend on if it can even get to 40 cents, right? And this is why we have to adjust along the way. But if you at least don't have a price target, you would never sell, right? Just because I right. say I think it could get around 40 cents doesn't mean you just sit there, I'm holding till this. No. For example, yeah. let's say somebody has a million tokens, right? And right. they don't have six figures put up at all. Let's say Samo hits 10 cents, right? Mm. You now have six figures because every 10 cents is, is 100,000 with yeah, a million yeah. tokens. So why would you risk a why would you risk a 2x to try to get to 20 cents when you don't even have 100,000 yet, right? So this is the mindset that people need to have when coming into crypto. Does yeah. that make sense? Oh yeah. It makes total sense. I I think like like to me if I think about it, like if I okay, let's just say I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, Mike's right. 40 cents, bam. So I think to myself, okay, I'm going to put a thousand dollars in once it hits to a dime, or maybe I sell like 0 0.09, somewhere around there. And I sell 40%, 30%. Well, now I'm in the profit. Now, now I'm just playing with the house money. Right. Right. And then maybe when it gets to like 19, 20, 21 cents, I sell another 30% or something like that. I ladder in and I ladder out. And then if it if I miss it, let's say it gets to 36 cents and doesn't hit that 40, hey, I sold at 10 or nine. I sold at 2021, 20, and maybe I sold at like 29, 32, somewhere around there. And I'm good. And then I got I got a little bag for the next bull run. Maybe something like that. Yeah. And 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 I think that's a great, great way to put it too. Cause I think there's a lot of people like that as well, Rob, kind of like yourself, where maybe they don't want to sell all of it. Maybe they want to just do it in ladder steps. And I think whatever works for that individual go for it but i'm just telling you what mike is going to do yeah and mike how much how many coins does mike have on this one man i let's just say man i i have over a million and i leave it at that that's okay that's pretty good <laughs> so perfect so that was uh let me bring this up As and i got was... in when i was telling people to get in around the you know under the half a penny mark nice so that was Samo, just called yeah. Samo. Mm -hmm. Some Yed coin. So that's coin. some moy coin. Some moy, excuse me. Some moy. So let's say Samoy. Listen to me. So <laughs> let's say that you okay. So there's so first you were talking about Snack. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's take a look at Snack. How is that done? That's the big Cardano play. Yeah. Snack so, is still great, man. It's I got a question too, now that we're talking about mm -hmm. Snack, because I know you're super big on Cardano. You know, one of the mm -hmm. things I heard regarding snack they said they were worried about cardano because of one of the largest tokens on cardano is snack and it's a Ooh. meme now of course it has utility with the energy drink and things of that nature but it started as a meme and so what are your thoughts when people say well the largest token on cardano is a meme <laughs> like what, what's your what's your thoughts on that man because i did think it was an interesting statement when people said you know, said it, that it is, you know what? It is an interesting statement. When I take a look at it, Cardano's always been the slowest. Has, has does anybody want to debate that topic? It's always been the slowest <laughs> and I'm not putting it down. And people, of course, the counter argument is, well, of course it's slow because they go through the research, they go through the academic papers, they go through the academia of why they want to do it. And then they're very careful. So nothing breaks like what, Luna could have, you know, did essentially and everything collapse on their on their stable coin and putting everything, you know, different parts into Bitcoin. So I get that. But it's slow. And with with that, there's a lot of like projects that I think are coming in. But right now, things are moving so slow in Cardano. It is a very, very, very long term. Play. Blockchain. Yeah. And, and then people will say, well, there's this going on, this going on. Cornucopia is coming up, which is a great game. I got to tell you, those guys are doing a great job. But for you can take a look at some other projects out there. And let's just let's just call a spade a spade. They're growing. They're getting more sponsorships. They're getting more people. And of course, people will say, but those aren't decentralized, Rob. They are not decentralized as much as Cardano is. And I get 
the argument. I understand. But I'm just saying that at some point, they might have to speed up just a little bit because if not, they will get left in the dust and it'll be a big problem for them. And that's what it is. Now, having said that, I was on uh, being, being Crypto yesterday on one of their Twitter spaces and we talked about Ethereum, about how it's been lagging. And someone pointed out that, you know, it lags every time in the same fashion over the four-year cycle. So when they have this, this new um, uh, EIP coming in, Dana, I forgot the, the term of it, but Guy from Coin Bureau even talked about how they're supposed to be like increasing uh, the, the, the TPS, decreasing the latency, and also being able to drop the fees exponentially like by 100x or something like that. Because when that happens, then it'll, it'll do pretty well. But again, here's the problem. And Mike, you know this. You use a DEX on Solana, how fast is that? Extremely fast. How cheap is that? <laughs> man, dude, cheap. And that's the thing, man. When and how you many get times? gains on Solana, dude, you don't have to pay a lot in fees. And how many times? Yeah. And how many times has it has it shut down on you? Since the since it hasn't shut down the whole the last year, man. Like the exactly. Last, like we're, we've been fine. The Jupiter launch came out, which was the big test, and now look. Fine. Yeah, it's been. I think it now it's 340 days since the last slowdown or shutdown, or whatever yep. you want to call it. Cool so, brain. I get everybody's you know recommendations and, and and disputes. That's why I try to diversify. So, Mike, to answer your question, it's concerning. I think a little bit, and there's there's projects growing, Ouch. and there's projects there, but look at the total value that's locked up. Look at how much the volume has actually been done, and you can kind of see that there are some there is trouble of, of afoot. Does that mean it can't come back? No. Does that mean I don't hold Cardano? No, I own Cardano. So it's uh, just something to be aware of. That, man. I respect that answer. I was just curious, man, because yeah. to a degree, I got in SNEC early and I do hold Cardano. Honestly, those are the to only two assets I hold in that ecosystem is ADA and SNEC. Yeah. And I didn't really think about it like that until I heard the statement and they were like, you know, SNEC is a meme coin and it's basically one of the large. I said, I know it's one of the largest, but I didn't really think about it from that scope of lens and i said that's interesting mm -hmm. it's it's something to be to definitely take a look at let me um let me see here go to let tap me... tools tap tools.io do you use tap tools at all yeah okay well okay. i think it's not because that's not in my not in my history <laughs> so this is basically oh yeah 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 okay. okay yeah this is the cardano ecosystem for all of the tokens for people that don't know and you can see snack is the third largest token in the ecosystem and at yeah. one time it was the largest it had flipped uh wmt and uh agix you know and i always you know like like uh mickey watkins and, and the group over there at world mold token that is a great project and they're doing they're, they're doing great things so uh i mean on that one it's looking good for them ajix agix i I mean, it's a, it's an AI play. It'll probably do pretty well. And of course, uh, uh, Ken and his group over there at Meld. And there's there's Kopi. That's mm -hmm. that's a pretty good one. But I know that Meld is is multi-platform. It's not just on Cardano. I believe it's also on Avax. And okay. uh, and also, I I think may actually have its own uh, L1. So it's it's multi. And that's another thing. It, it's a it's a multi-chain uh, project. So I mean, you can count it here. But if it's even the multi-chain, it's number four. Yeah, eh, it is what it is. All right. But yeah, good one. Tab tools. All right, Mike. So we, we went over that. Let's take a look at the other stuff. So we've got Snack. We had Samoy. And then we talked the about Shiba. Two. Yeah, we talked two. about Shiba. We talked about Doge. Let me ask you this before we get to some other ones. What are your thoughts on Floki and Baby Doge? You know I don't have an opinion on these two. Why? <laughs> why did you? Why did you even ask me that question, Mike? <laughs> what did you think of Floki? Man, I got you for this, <laughs> so I have no opinion. Okay, that's why, fair I'm, not, that's why I'm asking the expert. Okay, what do you? No got? expert, man. No expert. But uh, so the other the so so I said there's four main that I'm personally holding going into the bull. Okay. that I think can do very well. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. But I do think they can do very well, which I said, Snack, Samo, Volt, and Monk. I know you've been, you you have posted a lot of that. Volt is, wow, 890. Okay. 
Is this what's the story behind this one? It's somebody's dog, right? No. Mm -mm. No. I always see it's like a it's like a, an AI generated dog, mm -hmm. I think. Or maybe that's Bolt. Yeah, Volt Inu. And there's another Volt out there, but Volt is just it's, it's just a kind of like a, a wolf dog, but it's no, it's not, it's not no dog by, you know, it's not taking like some celebrities dog or anything. I think those type of tokens have a, a low cap anyway, in my opinion, but gotcha. Well, this one, so it looks like this one's already almost fully diluted as far mm -hmm. as total supply. It launched market. in the bear market in 2021. So it has not seen a bull market. Oh, really? Nope. Interesting. And Let's it's take a look here. Constantly built. You know what? Let me see if I can. I got a tweet I'm going to send you, which will give us just a brief overview of what they've accomplished since December 2021 till now. Okay. Looks second. like it's going okay in the last 27 days, one month, three months. Look at this spike. Yeah, the all time high, I believe, is. It's over 100, I think 140, 150, I think, mm -hmm. million market cap. And that's in a bear market. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so. yep, yep. So like, like like with this one, looks like it's an ERC, ERC20 token. Yeah, yeah. But it's also on Polygon and Binance Smart Chain. Oh, okay. All well, the we same. Should, we all, the same uh, all the same um, uh, contract address, right? Okay. So you don't have to worry about anything crazy. Okay, so Samoy, Volt, Snack, Shiba. I just sent it to you on X, uh, Rob. Okay. Was this in the messages or just you just tagged? Uh, yeah, in the messages. Yep, I just sent you a DM. Okay. A tweet. So as we're going through that, so mm -hmm. what's the, I'll find that real quick. So what's the next one? The next one is, and this is, now we're getting even more riskier, but this one is Mung, which I'm sure a lot of people heard of Mung. No. M O N G. You know I didn't, but okay, okay. But so but, but, Mung but. came out around Pepe. M O N G. Yep. Oh, it must be Think, down. Then. Oh yeah, it's like a six, seven million market cap. What? Yeah. This Mung coin? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Holy smokes. All right. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Let's see. It's it must be relatively, I'm gonna guess. No, not that. Yeah, it came out around Pepe. So it came out, I believe, April of last year. Mike, this one is super risky. I wouldn't touch this oh, one. Oh yeah, super but, risky. But but this is so I that was nice. That that was that was nice of you to uh lead us down this rabbit hole to not show us this one first <laughs> and show us ones that you're like, oh okay, get this one. And you're like, and then you drop this one on us, and then there's this one. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. So if I had to do this again, I like now what about Floki? I know you mentioned that one. Uh not really. Um, I mean I don't know. Snack. I like snack. I still hold it. I do like that. Okay. And then Samoy, the first, as you call it, the first Solana meme coin. Non-derivative. Yeah, it was. Non-derivative. Look at yeah. this. That one's really something I'll look into. And also, if everybody's kind of like, where do I get this? First of all, I'm pretty sure you can get on the DEXs, Orca or Jupe, right? Yep. Jupe or Radium. Radium. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're looking for like anything that we just talked about, and I'll put a link in the description for all these, these different tokens, but if you click on markets, you can find out where this stuff all is. However, yeah. Orca. Did you get any jupe? Now that I think of, cause I know you use Solana Dexes. Did you get any jupe to nope. claim? Are I'm you serious? It. Yeah. Because it was on no, cause you had to use it before November 23rd, 28th, Correct. one of those two. And I had just gotten into uh, Orca. I was using Orca and Orca and Orca. I was like, well, I don't need to use Jupiter because it works. And then uh, like I started using it in like, I don't know, December, January, something like okay. that. And I just missed it. But eh, it's okay. Yeah. I bought a little bit of Jupe on that day and we'll see how it, if it takes off or not. Okay. But I did get the when airdrop. So it's pretty happy That's about nice. that. 
That's nice. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get the win, but I did get a uh, get the juke. Um, and it was it was pretty nice, man. It was pretty nice, as you can probably imagine. <laughs> yeah, I bet it was. How much how much was that worth for your airdrop? Because I'm sure, let's just say like one wallet. I'm sure you use multiple wallets. But... Yeah, so I had seven wallets that I was able to claim juke. I had one massive one. And, mm. uh, and I made a tweet. I didn't realize that I utilized Jupiter on these other wallets. So I was like, dang, I actually have more Jupe I can claim. So I went and claimed it. And nice. it, was a, it was a nice amount. It wasn't six figures or nothing like that. But it, 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 let's just say I sold it. Yeah, <laughs> which was smart because you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to yeah. sell a little bit and take take off the table. Yes. Yeah. Great job. So this is the one you just sent me about Voltinu? Yeah, uh, yeah, story yeah. that kind of gives you kind of like an overview of, you know, what they've done since their, you know, existence. Their oh, wow. Inception. Let me retweet this. Risky play, but interesting. Nice picture. All right. Well, Mike, you said um, a ton in uh, only 30 minutes. So any... Uh, <laughs> Before we get into like the little Q&A, do you got time to stick around for Q&A? You got to go. Yeah, yeah, no, let's do it. Okay. But uh, any last words of wisdom for the people who are, because no one here is a tourist yet. We're not in that that sector or that time frame. Thank God. But yeah. uh, any uh, words of wisdom for the people who've been in the class of 2021? Um, Because we did cover like a lot of other stuff. We, we did. We did. Even though it's been said before, one thing I've learned in the crypto space, sometimes people need to hear it again. And that is, as we're talking about these meme coins, please understand the risk that goes into meme coins. Crypto in general is risky, as yeah. we saw with some of the top cryptos and things, unexpected things happen. So imagine what meme coins can do. And make sure you don't have all of your capital into these meme coins, right? And the thing about it is sometimes you don't need a lot of capital to make a lot of money with them, right? So just be mindful. Um, there's always going to be new opportunity that comes. So if you miss something, don't kick yourself. There's always going to be another opportunity in crypto to make money. If you're one of those people that's like locked in and always looking to get into something new, there's always going to be an opportunity to make money. However, you have to sell. You have to sell. And I will say this, and this is what I've done. Have your main blue chip cryptos, have your risky plays, but have your main blue chip cryptos that you know you're holding going into this peak of the bull run. And once you have those solidified, then it makes it a little bit easier to kind of dabble into what's coming up, what's new. And that's what I will say. That's a pretty good way to, to say it. You know what? It's the last thing, and then we'll get in the Q&A, is I'll just say this, is it's a good point. You know, we, Mike just said, first of all, it's risky. It's essentially gambling. That's just be aware of that. Yeah. And don't worry if you, if you missed the bus. It's like the part, like I lived in Vegas for two years. It's like a party bus. If you missed the first party bus, don't worry. There's one coming around the corner every 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't start chasing candles. That's the recipe for disaster. And then what Mike talked about as far as like the portfolio, you know, like it's not like you should put everything into meme coins. Does, 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 is there anybody here who doesn't like to gamble just a little bit, you know, even like a little bingo action or, you know, play a little one arm bandit or a little poker every so often in your lifetime? That's what makes the world go around. Right. Yeah. However, having said that, yes, this would be my portfolio right now. And I have when we talk about this majority, vast, 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 vast is Bitcoin. We can see right here. It's over 70 percent. And of course, the Ethereum is sold near Cardano, AVAX, blah, 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 blah. And then 67 other ones out there. But it's very small because I've been around forever, it seems like. Mike can, Mike can attest to this. He's probably got a bunch of dust in his different wallets as well. So just this was just a fun episode. Nobody freak out. It was. I got a question, man. Huh? Do you plan on moving Link Up in your portfolio? You know, I was, <laughs> I was on. Uh, I, no, because I because I, I already have a plan. And the plan is in place until the next blow off top. So what I set right now for my dollar cost average, everything goes off without a hitch on Coinbase. I play for, I, I pay for this, this service called Coinbase One. It's like 19 bucks a month if you pay for the full year. It gives you up to $10,000 for, for its transaction fees and I don't charge anything. Anyhow, so like with that, 
these these DCAs that I have, they just go off. It's Bitcoin, it's Ethereum, it's Solana, it's you know Chainlink. It could okay. be every day, it could be every other day, and it's different parts of the of the time. And it just kind of goes and goes and goes and goes. And that's what I feel like it's okay for the allocation. So even though like I mean Chainlink looks great, and we're looking at real world assets, fantastic. I was again we're talking to be in crypto yesterday, and they were saying you know what. Um, not only is it an oracle, which everybody knows it, but it's also acting like a layer zero, especially for real world assets. And that's what they need to to move or zip around these these RWAs across the globe. So I think that I'm like, maybe I should get, you know, maybe I should sell my house and get into it. I'm like, what? No, that's, that's, not, <laughs> that's, not, my, that's not my plan. My plan's already been in place when I, when I was, when I was yeah. still cold sober and I got it. So yeah. Yeah, but I, I still hold Link, man. I think Link is going to be great. I think it's going to do well. This is one thing I do want to say, though, because I always like to look at both coins. I think the biggest weakness to Link ever, and I don't know if or when we will see it, but the biggest weakness I can ever see to Chainlink is, and I'm a big advocate for Chainlink. I like it a lot. I hold a lot of it. Yeah. The biggest weakness I can see to Chainlink is if blockchains start creating their own oracle inside of it where they don't need chain link right yeah that's yeah. the only biggest threat in my opinion so if and when that happens you know what i mean why would you yeah. not hold chain link you know what i mean right why would you not and things are going to change so but yeah why not so all right, buddy. So that was as much information as we can pack into roughly 40 minutes. We got to take <laughs> off, take off. But if you leave, you know, consider, uh, first of all, consider going to Mike's channel over on uh, X and YouTube and following him over there. And on your way out, just hit the like and uh, go and then uh, go from there. But now that concludes the, uh, the news portion and Mike dropping all that alpha.